let me show you how to take your boring flat footage like this and turn it into something like this. All within Premiere Pro using Lumetri Color. Let's talk about it. Now, before we get too hands-on, we need to understand what Lumetri Color actually is. It's an amazing tool within Premiere Pro that lets you adjust the color and tone of your footage. To access it, head over to the Color tab in your workspace or go to your Effects panel and simply search for Lumetri Color. From there, you can apply it to your desired clip. Next, let's talk about importing and organizing your clips to be color graded. Make sure you've imported your footage into Premiere Pro and organized it in the Project panel. Now we can drag our desired clip into our timeline for color grading. I'm going to use this clip here that I filmed in a log profile, which means it's very neutral or flat toned. This gives me more dynamic range or control when I'm actually color grading the footage. Select your clip, open up Lumetri Color and head to the basic correction tab. Here you can adjust your exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows and whites and blacks. These controls allow you to fix exposure issues and balance the overall look of your clip. Now experiment until you achieve your desired results. Now, if you want to add a specific mood or style, we can do that in the Creative tab by adding a LUT, also known as a lookup table. In the Creative tab, we can find a list of pre-made LUTs or looks that we can use kind of as a starting point. Filter through the different LUTs until you find the one that matches the vibe you're going for. Now you can see I already have a bunch of LUTs installed here, but if you're interested in grabbing some for yourself, hit the link in my bio. I've just released a Hollywood LUT pack inspired by some of Hollywood's biggest films that you can grab now for less than 50 cents a LUT. Next, we have the Color Wheels and Match tab. The Color Wheels and Match feature lets you fine tune the color balance of your footage. In the Color Wheels tab, you'll see three wheels for shadows, midtones, and highlights as well as a color spectrum for each. Play around with these to enhance the colors of specific areas in your clip. Now the match feature can be a real time saver if you want to steal the color grade of a specific clip and instantly apply it to your current clip. Let me show you. Simply select comparison view, then locate your reference clip with the secondary timeline and hit apply match. It's that easy. For more advanced adjustments, check out the curves and HSL secondary tabs. Curves allow you to control color and contrast with precise curves. We can even isolate specific colors and increase or decrease them based on certain values like hue, saturation, and luma. HSL Secondary allows you to isolate specific colors and enhance them as well. To add some artistic flair, we can also add a vignette to the sides of our footage to kind of draw the viewer's eyes towards the center. Remember, you can keyframe any parameter in Lumetri Color. Simply hit the stopwatch icon, move the desired amount of time, and then adjust your parameters to create a secondary keyframe. You should also know about adjustment layers. Adjustment layers are great if you're color grading a bunch of the same footage. You can apply one grade to an adjustment layer, leave it above all your footage, and that grade will be applied to all of the footage below the adjustment layer. This saves time and maintains consistency throughout your project. Now remember, it's all about experimentation and finding the perfect look for your specific project. A specific color grade meant to evoke a certain emotion can entirely change the look and feel of your footage. Now finally, if you're looking to take your color grading even further, then you might wanna check out this video here. But before you do that, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Peace.